Hi friends, Denise from Salvaged Inspirations and thank you so much for joining me today. Today I have a really fun console table makeover. I found this small console table at my local restore. It, it looks not great, it's kind of dated, but I've transformed it into this high contrast beauty. Just wait until you see what I did with these legs. I wish mine were that shape laying long. <laughs> Anyways, just let me get set up and I will be right back. Let's start. Here's the fun part. So as I mentioned, I found this compact console table at my local restore. It was selling for $20, which I know prices are going up everywhere, but in my opinion, that's a little steep for this little table. But it was 50% off, so $10, I'm good with that. I started by removing this price tag with a little bit of heat. Then I gave it a really good cleaning with the TSP substitute. To give this table a more modern look, there was a lot of sanding. I started by sanding the top with an aggressive 80 grit and my orbital sander. And that's because I wasn't sure if I was gonna strip down the whole piece or if I wanted to paint the top and just strip down the legs. I get a lot of questions about my sanding equipment and I had a DeWalt orbital sander which lasted me for years and was a workhorse, loved it. I recently bought this new Bosch orbital sander, love it. But I also get asked about higher priced sanders and equipment such as Festool and Surf Prep. I've heard nothing but great reviews about these two brands. However, they are costly. Um, we're talking $600 plus, even up to $1,000. And then you have to buy the special sanding pads uh, and sandpapers to go along with it, etc. So at this point, I have not made the investment as of yet because I'm really, really pleased with what I use. But... To turn my regular sander into a makeshift surfy prep sort of type of sander that can actually sand and contour legs like these, I use these sanding pads and I purchased them off Amazon. They are under $15. And they make sanding contoured areas of wood a breeze. I mean, it makes a huge difference. These work amazing on curved legs as they contour with the shape because they have that sponge in between. Uh, without the sanding buffer pad on, you'd have to strip the finish off with a stripper or hand sand these, these curves. So this makes my job so much easier. If you're interested in trying these sanding pads, I will leave the link in the description below if you'd like to try it on your sander. To get these legs perfectly sanded in all the corners, I used an oscillating tool with an 80 grit corner sandpaper. Then to smooth out the legs and prep them for stain, I moved up to a 150 grit and then I hand sanded with a 220 grit. Now on to staining these gorgeous long legs. I used a water-based stain called Eau Naturelle because I wanted a natural finish on these legs. But when using a water-based stain, I like using a free all-natural wood conditioner, which is water. Uh, so I'm just spraying here with my spray bottle, giving it a mist. I'm wiping the excess water off with a shop towel. And then using an applicator, I put the Eau Naturelle stain on the applicator pad and rub it into the legs. This natural stain is gorgeous. It's brand new and I just started using it. This is my second makeover I'm using it on, but it's already one of my favorites. And for any of you who are interested and want to give it a try, I'll include it in the description down below. Once I rubbed the stain into the legs with my applicator pad, I used a shop towel just to rub the excess off. Once the stain was 100% dry, I took some painter's tape and masked off the legs. 
Then using my go-to BIN shellac base primer, I put two coats of primer on this little table. This will prevent any bleed through or staining coming through my paint. I apply this bin shellac primer with a roller. And as you can see, I let the roller do the bulk of the work. Even getting into the nooks and crannies, I just use the tip of the roller and it works out very, very well. I'll include a full video on how I use BIN shellac base primer in the uh, cards above. And I'll also include it down below in the description. Once the primer was all dry, I gave it a really quick hand sand with a 220 grit sandpaper. And this is just to knock it down and prep it for the paint. Before applying my paint, I use a tack cloth to remove any of the dust that I've created. The legs were looking so gorgeous in their natural state, I decided to go for a high contrast top. So here I am painting on my first coat of coffee bean. I would describe coffee bean color as a rich dark brown black, like a very, very rich espresso. Here's what it looks like with its first coat. As I've mentioned in a few of my other videos, if possible, and the furniture is light enough for me to do so, I always flip the piece over. Uh, this is for cleaning, and this is also for painting. This way you can see what's going on underneath, and you can finish it off beautifully. Once the two coats of coffee bean were totally dry, I removed the painter's tape, and I found these adorable hand painted looking knobs in my inventory these were purchased oh years ago i believe i purchased them from pier one but they just seem to be a perfect match for this console table makeover i added them on giving the illusion of a faux drawer and here's how it all turned out here's the before and here's the after I have to say, I think it came together really beautifully. And these legs, I think this little console table proves that even a little simple makeover can have a huge impact. A cost breakdown on this console table is it was selling for $20 at the restore with a 50% off. So I paid $10 for the table. Uh, product I used was the primer, paint and stain and i'm gonna guess i used about 15 dollars worth i used very little because this table is so small 15 dollars is probably a little generous but i'll just say 15 dollars and the new knobs were five dollars each uh, so there's ten dollars for the knobs so the total breakdown for this cost of this fabulous looking new console table is 35 dollars I haven't decided if I'm gonna keep this for myself or if I am gonna sell it, uh, but if I do sell, on Wayfair, they're listed anywhere between $250 and $500. So if I was to list it, I'm guessing I'll list it anywhere between $150 and $175. So I hope you enjoyed today's makeover. I have to say, I love the way this little table turned out. Uh, if so, feel free to give it a thumbs up and a like. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel before you leave and I just want to thank you for all the support you guys have been giving me on this channel. I can't believe that I'm at 13,000.4 already so thank you so very much. Uh, also you can find me over at salvagedinspirations.com where I have over 500 furniture painting tutorials teaching you how to make your furniture beautiful. So until next time I hope you have a fabulous day and I will see you and talk to you again soon. Bye guys.